I'm going to start with the master bedroom, the snowflakes on the stairs, and then the front porch. Here is the master bedroom after I was done decorating. Our master bedroom doesn't have a lot of furniture in it yet just because we were focusing more on the main living areas. Um, but anyways, this I am covering this Amazon box with some burlap. This will be the bottom to my Christmas tree in the bedroom. And here is that tree. It was the one I was originally using for the right side of the kitchen, my white Christmas tree. Here I am getting organized, figuring out what I was gonna do with this tree. Here's, here's how the paper looks. This is from one of my books I had when the boy, I was pregnant with the boys, one of my baby books. So I just um, tore out the pages. And then I have these paper ornaments that I got from a craft shop. And I, actually you can use these to paint on them, but I really like how they look the plane and I'm using them as stencils and then I'm going to hang them on the tree as well. After cutting out the stencils, I was using some cardboard on the back just to make it more firm. I'm going to work on my angels. These are just pieces of paper that I put T on and then I fold it. This is the bottom of the angel. So I'll put the top here and then for my head, I don't have my little bees. I don't know where I put them. So I'm gonna use this and hang it. Use a little bell for her head, my little angel. You can just hold that down for a couple seconds. Oh, the snow stopped. All right, oops. Well, she's a little crooked, but that's okay. Here is a wreath I had. I'm not sure what used to be on it, but it looks like it fell out um, in the mood. And I got these stems from that craft store that I got um, those plain um, ornaments. And this looks like eucalyptus, and I'm not sure what this is. And I'm gonna stick them in my wreath and maybe add some of these bells and these pine cones, and this is gonna go above our, our master bedroom bed. After laying out the stems the way I wanted them, I zip tied them to the wreath and then hot glued the cones to the stems. Here is the master bedroom prior to decorating. We got our platform bed from Ashley Furniture. The mirror is from Walmart and the egg chair is from Walmart as well. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh. The blanket that I add first to the bed is from the Studio McGee collection from Target. And then there's a hunter green blanket that I will layer on top of that. I actually got that from one of my, um, is it Fab Fit um, boxes that I used to get delivered. And I just layered them on the end of the bed. Then I was making the bed and I was like, oh geez, I better get the wreath on above the bed. And I was having a heck of a time with that command hook. It actually ended up falling later on, you'll see. Um, so my husband had to fix that for me. I was really worried about messing up the paint. The Christmas tree was moved from the egg chair to the empty corner and then I just began to decorate it, adding the snowflakes and the bows first, and then I added my other handmade ornaments last. Here are they all laying out on the bed and I think they look very antique and unique and I just filled them in on the tree in the open spots because this tree is very um, like thin. I bought these little packets from the dollar spot at Target. These were $3 a piece. Um, and what I'm gonna do, I was gonna use them for a wreath, but I think I'm gonna put some in the lanterns. And I'm gonna put those on my little piece. You can't see them. I have two little ones. Those you'll see them in a second. And I've been long to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? And here is the finished product of the master bedroom. Christmas lights, so you 
On to the steps. Um, you'll see the video of my steps to the right or the staircase and I love the way my staircase looked but I wanted to add a little bit more razzle dazzle so I thought you know what let me add some paper snowflakes. There are several different ways you can cut the paper bags to create your snowflakes but I ended up just going doing them all the same because I was having um, quite some issues with this but anyways I used some brown paper bags that I got from the Dollar Tree and then the black and white paper bags you see I purchased from Amazon and I was looking on Pinterest and I was trying to create different designs but they just kept tearing it didn't work so all my snowflakes have all the same design and you'll see how I created those in just a second. And then I was having problems with my scissors, um, cutting through the bags, so I ended up using like an X-Acto knife. So first I hot glue seven or eight paper bags together. And then after I had hot glued them, that's when I cut out the design. At the open end of the bags, I cut two triangles and then I moved down the side and then I cut two triangles across from each other. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, spend my time The plan was to zip tie the snowflakes to the garland but I needed something to hang the zip tie on so I used pipe cleaners, hot glued that to the back of my snowflake then connected the zip ties and then that's what I connected to the garland and this was a little tricky too so my little guy was able to help me hold them in place while I zip tie them And here is the finished product of the stairs with the snowflakes. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can bet. Onto the front porch, which is rather simple. I use these black, white, and silver bulbs to create um, like a three bulb cluster. Here is all of the ribbon I have. Some of it is, I don't know, I hope you can see that. Some of it is wired, some of it is not. I laid the Walmart garland on the ground and then I took my ribbon, the black, the white, gray, and then that snowflake ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. I laid that all out on the floor and then I connected the ribbon to the garland using zip ties and I kind of like poofed it out so it would um, add like dimension to it. Then I took some boxes from Amazon and some furniture deliveries and I just wrapped them with this black paper and I have some black and white snowflake paper to create like some faux gifts to put out on the porch as well. 
And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning Oh, da 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 oh, oh da 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 oh, oh da 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 Making our Christmas I got these from the Dollar Tree can barely find the time to sleep yeah I spend my time running around keeping people pleased but this is my favorite holiday it's a chance to start over new because i missed you so i'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you baby this year is just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill i went ahead and cleaned off the porch and then i started working on getting the faux gifts on either side of the porch and then getting the garland around the door isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memory it actually began to snow the second day I was working on the porch. This was the first snow of the season. Then I placed the two pieces of garland around the door and I was actually able to tuck that into the side of my door. And then I took the bulb clusters and connected them around the garland. And then after I had that up, I put lights up around the garland, finished the gifts on the porch, and then that was all done as well. Here is the porch decorated during the daytime, and then here it is at night. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. Making our Christmas memories.